Okay, for this job, I read in the manual, they're like, you gotta take the side plastics off. I did all that, took it all off, shot the video, and realized that all you have to do is take this black plastic piece off. All right, folks, last time I was out, we got in pretty deep, some deep water, actually really deep. I had to do a bunch of oil changes, I'll change all the fluids, clean out everything, had all the plastics off, but now, and it, run, it ran great, I drove for a little while, sat for a little bit, and now I have this check engine. So hold the mode, options, diagnose code. So the two is the plausibility fault, which is the subcode or the condition. Um, don't really know how to define that out. Crankshaft position sensor. So that could be faulty, the connection can be bad. Um, there could be water in the connection, water in the sensor area. And then the one was the amount of code. So there's only one code. This code is kind of tough a little bit because you're supposed to check all the connections and all your electrical connections, make sure all your grounds and they're good, all that kind of stuff because water can get in there and kind of wreak havoc. So. I am pretty sure it's the crankshaft position sensor. So I bought a new one. There's the part number. And we are going to throw this puppy in. Also, before you get into it, make sure you disconnect the battery so you don't blow a fuse or do anything dumb because you're working with electronics. The manual said to take off the left plastics. We did that, it said it was near the starter. So I did that, I looked around there, couldn't find it. So I took the side plastic piece off. Here, there's uh, one, two, three, four plastic pop rivets. So if you can see in here, see this cable right here? That cable is hooked to the sensor, which is on the other side of this thing, right on top. You could feel it with your hand. You could, there, see the corner of it right there. So the wire goes up and plugs up in under there, which is literally in the middle of the machine. The sensor wire connects in up in here and you can kind of see the base of it there it is right there that section there um there's no way to get in it from the top i'm try i can get my arm in there pretty good and and work on it and i'm gonna see if i can pull it out and get the other one connected all right i got it unplugged that plug in there you can't see it but on the one side there's like a little spring so I'm on this side, so you have to push the spring in and then I was able to pull it out. I tried to clean the other end with like just shooting air up in there and stuff like that, but you can't get to it. And again, if you wanna really clean it out and really make it easy for yourself, easy as in taking this out and putting it back in, you have to remove the whole intake box to get in there because there's some kind of support right here that's in the way. You can't reach your hand down in there. So basically this thing, in the way okay to get the little eight millimeter bolt off of the sensor I used a small socket went in through this area right here above above this thing and you can get the socket on top of the bolt and then I reached my other hand in here in this curved part of the gas tank and then held the top of the socket and I was able to get my hand in here. You only have like that much move, but it did it like three times and then it was super loose. Got the socket out and then I was able to unscrew the um, rest of the bolt with my hand. So now we're gonna pull that sensor out and throw the new one in. I also got a shop vac in there and sucked all the dirt out and stuff like that because you don't want any dirt getting in the hole. All right, to get the sensor out, I actually put this screwdriver in, like got it in there and just pried it up because it was stuck in the hole. 
pretty good. That's because there's a lot of dirt and junk. But you can see the sensor is like coated with nasty, gunky, oily, creamy stuff, which pretty sure that's not supposed to be on there. So the other thing I noticed is that this sensor did not have a uh, O-ring on it. And the new one, the new one has an O-ring on it. Um, and I didn't see it on there. So I felt my hand down in the hole there and this guy was stuck in there pretty good. So I was able to get that out. So make sure you don't do two O-rings. All right, well that actually snapped in there pretty good. Just got my hand in there. Held the top part, pushed with the thumb, heard the click, snapped in there good. So we're gonna hook the battery back up and see if we still have a check engine light. All right, we got that crappy, crapped up sensor off. Got the new one on. And now we will see. Still there. Let the quad start. engine lights off all right that was it baby it's nice when what you think is wrong was actually wrong and you fix it and she runs and purrs like a kitten no more check engine light good to go excellent hopefully this video is helpful for you guys and uh yeah Always making more, so give a like and subscribe.